Hey everybody, I'm Heidi from Hands Occupied here with another video tutorial for you today. In this video, we are going to look at the left lifted increase, a great alternative to the common make one left increase in knitting. And I'm going to go over why you might want to use one or the other, depending on what you're working on. Let's dive in. Though not listed in the Craft Yarn Council's list of knitting standards and abbreviations, a left lifted increase is a way to increase your stitch count by adding a stitch in between two columns of stitches that leans to the left. Make one left or M1L stitches are also left leaning increases made between stitches. Make one stitches, whether right or left leaning, are worked by pulling up on the strand of yarn running between columns of stitches, twisting it and knitting into it. The twist results in a tiny hole and more tension on your finished knit fabric. More tension can mean more curling, particularly if you're increasing a lot at once near the edge of your knitting. This can be desirable, but sometimes you might prefer something different. That's where lifted increases come in. People like to describe lifted increases as nearly invisible. Lifted increases are accomplished by picking up a loop through a stitch knit in the previous row or round. Other names you might hear for lifted increases are raised or invisible increases. To work a left lifted increase, or LLI, you're going to knit in your row or round until you're ready to increase. Then you're going to open up your knitting stitches almost like a book. Locate the stitch two stitches below the first stitch on your right hand needle. Then insert the tip of your left hand needle into the left leg of that stitch from the back, opening it up slightly. Knit into the right leg of the lifted up stitch, which is currently angled backwards on your needle. Then keep on knitting the rest of your row or round. You might be wondering why you're working two stitches below the first stitch on your right hand needle for an LLI. It's because you just knitted the stitch above it on your right hand needle. So for the left leaning increase to occur in the correct location, aka being pulled up from the row or round below the row being knitted into, you have to go two rows below that first right hand needle stitch to be successful. Here's what a series of left lifted increases looks like, worked on every right side row. You can see this nice diagonal line form as a result. If you're curious to compare left lifted increases to make one left increases, there's a link to my M1L tutorial in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to work a left lifted increase. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, reach out in the comments if you have any questions, and subscribe for even more video tutorials. I've been Heidi, thank you so much for watching. Thank you.